up, you fucking clowns? Bro, we're all there today. You know, we we're supposed to go hunting the other day, but I never end up going. I end up fucking just shooting some arrows and well actually I went I went scouting. I saw I saw a few big pigs that came out, but I know at this spot over here is amazing. So I'm over here with my son, the wife again. Hopefully this time we get one bigger one this time. Um but my son's over here just shooting some of his arrows. And um you think he gonna pound on pig, but uh, I don't know about that one. Can we can we shoot the target? Can we shoot a bird? But yeah, he's over here shooting. Oh, poor thing, the boy he missed. But again, we're out here. Um, it's kind of what time is it now? It is 5:49 right now. We're gonna wait till the light drops. We're gonna um, put some bait out. And um, this is where we shot again. We shot the, the the 160 or whatever it was, the 160, the 47, the baby one with my son, and a couple other ones we got out there. But we out there just trying to trying to get some you know some action going. Um, just want to talk a little bit about um, the Pilau Beats is now live. Um, you guys can hit up the Instagram uh, Pilau Beats. Um, just letting everybody know. Fair warning, it's not me who the one is uh, controlling the, the Instagram. It's my wife that would be controlling the Instagram. So for all your hotties, you're trying to DM me on my Pilau base, that's not me, bro. Keep sending them to my, <laughs> to, to my just boost them ones. Nah, nah, nah. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so you hit up the DMs and stuff like that. So we got a bunch of guys already when order some, some, um, some baits already. Um, some brothers, they order one. Um, try order two if can, you know, because we can deliver them, but just to deliver them on the other side of the island is kind of harder for for 25 bucks. But I understand, I know, I know. But like I said, um, but yeah, so the, the Pilar Beats is live. Uh, go ahead and put your guys' order in. It's not going to last long. We already, we made, we made 20. We have 15. Oh no, we made 20. We have, we have five left, but we're, we're going to make um tomorrow we're gonna make a lot more tomorrow um didn't think notice that um people are gonna pick that up uh I also stay tuned for that video i still gotta film that video on how the pilau bait works but um it's it's super simple it's it's super simple it's just time consuming for the bait to actually be the way it's supposed to be so but other than that we all here we're about to uh, put some bait down, and then me and my son gonna just sit them and see what's up. Hopefully, we get one pig, but wish us luck, cousins, and um, enjoy the rest of you guys' evening. Hopefully, see you guys a little bit later, but as all right. What's up, you fuckers? We back. <clears throat> um, just gonna uh, talk a little bit about um. Every time before I hunt or before I even want to sit somewhere, do something, or just uh, hunt in general. I, I like to check out my um, check out my site, make sure that I'm hitting right now that 60, um, 60 way out there, and I'm gonna try and hit some of these uh, the bell or the target uh, at 60. <clears throat> but I always say I always recommend you guys before you sit in a blind, before you even hunt, when you get to the spot, take a target, shoot a few arrows make sure that your arrows are on point um just so you know you're not just wounding the animals um you make sure that you, you know just make sure you're on point and that's what i'm that's what i'm doing right now every time i go hunting i bring something like this and i just shoot all my arrows out and make sure that i'm on point and all that good stuff okay um sun already shot earlier um, obviously that's a little too far for him, but he tried, he tried, he tried, maintained he tried. Um, but I'm about to, uh, let some arrows fly. And, um, like I said, I'm shooting 70 pounds, uh, face four, uh, Matthew's face four, uh, 70 pounds shooting, gold tips, 300, uh, hunters with the blazers. Um, also have this wrap on it, it's actually a reflector. So, if you're not shooting a light at night, at night where you can't see, um at least if you shine your light around the light will pick this this reflector off and i'm shooting 
the uh, G5 Montax CS. I don't know if that, see if you guys fucking, there you go. But yeah, this is what the arrows I'm shooting. I have like six of them. And I'm gonna let it rip. I'm gonna let this bad boy rip, boy. So let's get some arrows going. Let's get some arrows flying. And uh, then, then we gotta drop some baity. We gotta drop some of the bait there. So we can catch some of this shy, uh, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, let's send it. Let's go check it out, guys. Hey, all the arrows right here, huh? Put the soda down, clown. So, like I said, we out here. Uh, had to, not bad. I think this is not bad at all. I had a one, I had a, <laughs> I had a flyer. So they say, oh, my fucking Indiana Jones hat, cause. Anyway, uh, this is the, here it is, not bad, not bad for 60, bro. Yeah, a little bit to the right, I say, had one flyer on the top, but so far, so good. Here comes He-Man, bro. What, how you did, boy? Huh? You shot the target. Look over here. What do you tell everybody, cuz? Just boost them. Just boost them, cuz. Tell everybody, follow what? Pilau Beats. Say, follow Pilau Beats. Follow P B. Pilau Beats. Follow P B. Say it again. Follow P. Look at. Look on the camera. Say, follow Pilau Beats. Follow P Pilau. Pilau Beats. Say it again. Follow Pilau Beats. Follow P Pilau Beats. Oh my God, son. Well, you guys heard it right here, bro. Anyway, let's get the baiting going. Let's get settled, sit down, chill, talk story, post some stuff on Instagram, and um, get some action going. All right. All right, guys, time for bait, okay? Again, this is the pilau baits that's in this thing, right? We got the pilau baits. Bang! Right there. Make sure you guys follow them Instagram. Hit them up if you get the pilau baits, bro. <laughs> but stay tuned. I'll make a video on it in a huddle. How to work it and stuff like that. Doing, buddy. He's not over already. Oh, let me tell you guys, bro. This thing is kryptonite. That's why it's called Pilau Base, bro. Check it out.
we let them sit a little too longer, we get little extra uh, goodies on them. They're called gummy bears, but actually it's a fucking maggot. Ew. But, so this being, to be honest, you don't have to put much. You don't have to put that much all on the, on the ground. As long as it's out there, like I said on the last video, these pigs can smell them at up to 25 miles. That's what it says in the books, bro, from what the scientists said. Yeehaw. Basically, that wasn't that probably wasn't even a pound of corn that I would put down. But you can smell this thing. Probably smells like you guys wife's underwear, you know. But the thing is, this thing is uh it's it's, it's wild. It is it is super stink, but it's good. But you know doesn't matter how you want to do it. So like I said before, when you put the pilau baits down, you don't want it. So if you're shooting, if you're shooting this way, right? If you're gonna shoot this way, you do not wanna put the bait sideways. Why? Because the pig's gonna come up to the line to eat. If you're shooting this way, bait's here, right? Shooting this way, bait's here. The pig's gonna come dead center on it and eat it. You're not gonna have that broadside shot. So it feels good to put it this way, but it's not. It's better to put it the exactly same way you're shooting. So when the pig comes in, it comes in to eat on the side of it. Yeah? So, it's a little pro tip right there on the pilau baits. But, I just made a little circle. You can show them. Pay attention, you clown. Shut up. So, I put them in like, in like a horseshoe way because I don't know which way they're going to come out from. They can come from that way. They can come from anywhere. So, I kind of put it in a horseshoe, horseshoe shape. So I can either get them in different angles, but we're probably gonna go walk some more and try and put some bait out elsewhere. I'm not too sure where, cause I don't want to travel too far out in the in the field. But I know for a fact the last time we came here, when we skunked out, there was way out on this side, in the way right in the back of us. But we sat there, and they're all playing on this side. So. We're gonna try to play it, play on this side and see what see what we can get. So Alright, I'll go back. Anyway, it's two dock time. Like I said, we just went, um dropped the bait down and all that good stuff. But like again, I just wanna again follow Pilau Baits on Instagram guys. Check that out, bro. If he's looking to uh put some of these baits, it's not just a bait, so you're gonna need bait and corn and water. Okay, so that's the that's the main thing, bait, corn, and water. But again, stay tuned for that video. And another big thing that I'm, I'm gonna show you is how I'm gonna set it up. Sniper hog lights, bro. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, rig it up on your guys' bowl. So first, first you're gonna wanna take this one off. This is not a stabilizer, it's just like a dampener or some shit like that, so it kind of um, stops the, what you call that, the vibrations and stuff. I, I, I'm, I don't know if it works, but it is what it is. This is the hog light right there, sniper hog light. Like I said, on the last video, I'll put the links down below. I'll put the same uh, links down below. Upon checkout, if you guys want this, upon checkout, you guys use just boost them, and you guys should be Gucci. I think it's like 15% or something like that. But this is a handheld one right now because you can you can convert it so we're rocking we're rocking the red one we're gonna rock the red ones all you gotta do is check, take this part off I mean, it's gonna be my luck that i'm doing this video and i'm fucking pinky come out eh? my oinky so then we're gonna grab this connection this is the other connection this is for your bowl this end goes into the bowl uh, focus bitch focus there this end is going to the bowl and this end this end oh fucking yeah 
I don't know. I, I don't do product reviews, guys. Sorry, my bad. But anyway, this end goes onto the flashlight. Lavish. Yeah. Tighten them up. Tighten them all the way. Good. Super tight. Not the way we like them. So, also right here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says flood and spot. So spot is kind of like one straight beam right on them. The floodlight kind of covers a huge area, but it's pretty huge. It's, the area it covers is pretty big. But all you gotta do is turn this thing in and out uh, to get it either flood or spot. You can adjust while you turn it on. And this end, this is where the trigger is gonna go on to your bowl. So again, the same spot. I'm gonna put it right here. But we can see you can go in the bushes on the corner over there. Gotta teach my son how to make dookie in the bushes. Sometimes like that, bruh. Sometimes you gotta make doodle in the bushes, bruh. But that's how it works. And then I'm gonna grab this end. This is what connects to the light, and this is the trigger. Hold on. This thing comes with a two way tape, but I don't know. It never, it never works for me. It always falls off, so I've got a zip tie, but I'll show you the zip tie after. But I like to put it kind of like right here on this spot so it's easier right so you when when you shoot you're not supposed to be grabbing your bowl like this anyway so you can just kind of tap it you can just like tap it and get ready for shoot but that's how it works here's the trigger and it's gonna boom boom just like that then you can hold it it's gonna stay on okay so That's the spot hog, the sniper, sniper hog lights, bro. Sniper hog lights. Um, I also got, so I, I bought the kit. So if you buy this kit right here, you buy you buy this whole kit. It comes with everything. Comes in with the red. Comes with um, flat one. You can change. So the the good thing about this this um this light, it's not just changing the bulb. Oh, I, I, I guess it's changing the bulb, but. You're changing the whole mechanism of it. So this is the white one. And this is the green one. I don't know how they focus this kind of stuff, but whatever. But that's how it is. Good shit. Look like the kind of the dabs. Never mind, but so we're, we're ready. We're ready to rock. I might drop some out of bait somewhere else. I might drop some more down somewhere else, but. To me, if, if they're gonna come out, if they're gonna if they're gonna come out to that side, if they're gonna come out on the left side, nah, no, no, they're not. They cannot come out on this side. So most of the time, the pigs are gonna come out from the right or from straight back. They come towards this way. Most of the times, they like to come out. They go either to the left side. So uh, we'll see. We we'll see how it goes. We we'll see how it works and stuff like that. But I don't know. Now we just get to chill, talk story, hang out with the sun, and just kick back and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully we get something tonight, you know? So, Raja. Make sure you guys follow me, just underscore boost them on Instagram. Make sure you get sub and like, guys. We're coming in hot this time, too. Um, also, we're not a simple update there, you know, this is simple one. I think we're gonna probably go get back into uh, fishing again. I guess some other boys went fishing today and they got the fishing fees, well, so, but I still have all my gear, all my stuff, so. Maybe we, maybe we throw out some uh, fishing videos. We'll see what's up. And I still owe you guys for the, the, um, the Ulu fishing rig, but you guys cannot use drone no more. So, it is what it is, bro. But I see you guys a little bit later. Hopefully we get one uh, piglet. Piglet, piggy, bar, hog, bars. I think that's how they say it in like Alabama or something. I'm not too sure Mississippi, they, they, they say like, like how we say bars, they say bars. I seen a big bars. But um, <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Yeah, all right, hello.
What's up, guys? Welcome back to another just boost them episode. Anyway, <clears throat> tonight, rough night. Rough night for me, bro. 100% rough. About maybe like a 50 pound pig came out. I took the shot at him. Was at 30 yards. They, the arrow didn't even get to the pig. It went right under the pig. So I was like, oh, okay. Thought it was me, right? I was like, ah, whatever. So I get my arrow. We sit down. It is about, right now it's at 12.01 right now. Um, April 2nd. So anyway, we end up, um, when I'm trying to sit, this, bunch, this spotlight was behind of us. And every time I would, I would make a move on these pigs, um, there's a lot. There's a Every time, I, but every time I would make the move on them, they would they would fucking run away. Um, the spotlight was behind of me. They was in front of me. The pigs, they couldn't smell me, but they could see my big shadows, you know, crossing the whole field. It, it, it was, oh my god, I was so frustrated. I was so upset. It came, like I was playing chase masters with them for a little bit, but I was running left and running right, and I'm running left, and I was just like, okay, you know what? Fuck it, I want to cruise it. Then I said, you know what? Let's pack it up and we'll check out another spot. So I pull up to this one spot. They're in this big light, bro. Huge light on them. They don't even know I'm there. I creep up on them. I parked maybe like 80 yards. I walked up uh, 20 yards flat. Two zero now. Two fucking zero. I cracked my bow bat. Broadside. Smiling at me. Let it rip. Fucking miss, bro. Oh. And I was like, what the fuck? So, I ended up putting my dice out at 20 yards. So, I was I was tuning my bow with the practice tip, the G5 Montac CS, uh, practice broad tips. And um, on the, the practice broad tip was hitting, it's supposed to be the replica of the, the real broadhead. So I was like, fuck it, I threw the, I threw the uh, dice on the ground, 20 yards, shot him, super low, almost under the dice. So I was like, what the fuck? So I adjusted, shot again, boom, almost on the money. And then I adjust, boom, shot him again on the money. So the last two hunts, or the last, the, not this hunt, the hunt before that, when uh, me and Renee went out, and uh, I, I hit, I had two shots, two fucking shots, two shots. Didn't make it. Never made it. So, lesson learned. Tune your broadheads with the real broadheads. Do not use a practice tip. I don't know why. I, I, I don't understand because I don't know what's the difference is with that rest that I had on before and the rest I have on now. Right, I have the Epsilon, Hamsky Epsilon, and this one I have the <coughs> QAD, um, I have the QAD MX2 on them, so, and I shot the big boy with just a practice tip, and then I shot him with the broadhead, perfect shot, killer shot, I don't know, I don't know, but I know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow, bro. I got a sight in my sight again with the real broadheads so that's what's gonna happen that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow and I promise you the next time I go out and there's pigs there I'm taking them out but anyway thank you guys uh, make sure you guys uh, follow me on my Instagram just underscore boost them also check out Pilau Beats on Instagram follow all those links that's down below check them all out and uh, make sure you get sub, like, and share, cousins. Big butt down in the home zone. You know the deals we pack them then so come. Big butt down in the home zone. Few more days, me and the friends ain't gonna smoke them, smoke them. Yeah. Big butt down in the jungle. You know the deals we pack them then so come. Yes. Big butt down in the jungle. Few more days, me and the friends ain't gonna smoke them. Burn up this sense in making fire Girl, I thought I told you I'm a poor hunter Remember when was Pepe on 360 Up Mount living life so freely Best 